Hi, good morning. We have another pup box to unbox. And um, just as an update, Phoenix is 17 weeks now. And um, he is lots of fun. He is playing. He does not want to sit for videos anymore. So this month, the information is all about training and development with your four-month-old puppy. And um, when I saw this, I was like, ooh, I need to get on signing Phoenix up for puppy kindergarten. So he is going to be starting that on Wednesday the 21st. He is just old enough now with all of his shots to be able to go to the park. We hear you. Do you want to be on video? Then you have to come here and see what's in your box. Um, and he is just a mess on a leash. He runs in circles and he gets himself tangled up. It's crazy. So he really does need some puppy kindergarten. So, ironically, they have a picture of the dog running through the park because it is spring and it is time for dogs to run and play after being cooped up. So what is in this box? Well, the first thing is Piggly Wiggly training treats for dogs, which will come in very handy at um, Puppy Kindergarten. These are um, shaped like little pigs. I don't know if you can see that. A little pig shape in there. They are adorable. And they're wheat, corn, and soy free and made in the USA. Oh, I think Phoenix might want one of these. Well, wow, hold on. We'll see if she likes them. Are you going to be a taste tester? Come here. Phoenix, come. Sit. All right. He's very interested in this treat. I think he's really going to like it. All right, you ready? Okay. What do you think? Uh-oh. He dropped it, and Rory has snatched it up. Well, they're gobbling them up. He's taken his off to his bed, so I think that was a success. Next in here are some teething rings that are pumpkin flavored. I think this is going to be a hit. I was just looking in his mouth. He's got some molars coming in. He's wanting to chew on everything. Oh, he's come back to investigate this. He left the piggy treat on his bed, so maybe that one is not as popular, but Rory definitely seemed to like it. So this is the train, the teething treat, and I'm giving it to him now. He's sniffing at it. He's not really sure what to do with it. Take it to your bed. Rory's trying to help. I don't think it's gonna work. All right, we'll save those because I'm gonna, I know what's going to happen. I'm going to give it to Phoenix, and Rory is going to run right over and take it from him. Next, we have Chase and Chomp Novel Balls. Balls. They squeak and float, so that's pretty cool. And we have a Nyla Bone for a teething puppy, which is great. And last but not least, we have this super flamingo toy. When I was in eighth grade, I collected flamingos, so there is a soft spot in my heart always for flamingos, and this one is really cool with long legs. Phoenix is over here very interested. You want to see? Come here. Show them what you think. Look. Oh, yes. This is... I love the fact that these legs are the perfect size for his mouth. Whoever picked this has a really good grasp on his size. I'm more concerned about this because even though he's whoop, throwing things at myself, even though he's a small dog, I feel like 
these are really small but this is a great size and as you can see he's he is ready to play with this thing so I think that the pup box this month was a success it's a little bit more expensive than the bark box but um, he definitely enjoys everything that's in there and I really feel like it is very um, customized to him and what his interests are so whoever's doing the pup boxes really understand what dogs like so that's really cool are you ready to have your teething treat now Rory's left the room you can enjoy it in peace well I think he likes the flavor I don't think he knows what to do with it ah here we go we've caught on yeah Is that good yeah So Phoenix is going to enjoy his treat, and I'll see you next time.